Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video. So in this video, girl, I got another look for you, okay? I'm serving y'all looks. I am excited. I am hyped because I am coming back to back with the looks for y'all. So in this video, I will be creating this look that you guys see here. It is so pretty. And I did use a new foundation in this video as well. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I completed this look, then please keep watching. Are we feeling the mood of this video? This looks so relaxing and so calming. So hey guys, I'm back with another video. I am so happy that you guys enjoyed my last video. So this video will be actually pretty similar. I've just been into the browns and just the neutral shade and just nothing too over the top, you know? So this look will be, a, I would say just a soft glam. Um, I'm doing these, <laughs> I'm doing these looks mainly because y'all know how obsessed I've been with these Maybelline um, matte ink liquid lipsticks like this one right here. So let's get started. I'm so excited. Y'all know I don't never talk this much <laughs> in the beginning. And what I'm going to do first, this is a little different. I'm going to prime my skin and I prime my skin with this Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Power Primer and I want this to be able to just have time to sink into my skin you know what I mean because this kind of primer like it sits on top of your skin it takes a few minutes to actually sink into your skin so I'm just going to apply this first so when it's time to apply the foundation and things like that I will be ready and I will be good to go so I already moisturized as you guys can see like I look very glowy I use the Anastasia um, hydrating oil Y'all, this is my go-to. This one and the Laura Mercier Rose Oil. Y'all, the Laura Mercier Rose Oil is amazing. Like, for real. Y'all need to get that. If y'all haven't tried it, it's like a... The consistency in that oil is a little different than all the other oils, if that makes sense. I don't know how. I don't know why. <laughs> but it's really, really good. And it makes my skin just so soft like a silky smooth feel so next you guys I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows if you guys want to see a dedicated video on how I do my brows I will link it up at the top right here right now if you guys want to go ahead and check that out I get so many compliments on my brows and y'all I be working really hard on them <laughs> they look a mess honestly because I have not been plucking them I've been leaving my brows alone because I want my full thick eyebrows bad you know not too thick but just full you know what I mean like I want it to be fuller and a little just slightly thicker So I'm taking the shade Fawn from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's their single eyeshadow. I will be applying this in my upper crease area as my transition color. And the brush that I'm using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills A10 brush. You guys know this is my brush for the crease, okay? I love this brush for my crease. So as you guys can see that this shade is very neutral. This will be great for like all over the eye if you're going for like a no makeup makeup look. This is a great eyeshadow to grab. Next I will be taking the shade Caramel. It's also the Anastasia Beverly Hills Single Eyeshadow. And I will be applying this in my crease underneath my first shade. So you guys I'm going to take the same brush actually. Thank you. 
Next eyeshadow will be Soft Peach. And I will be applying this all over my lids. And the brush that I'm using, I think this collection is from Lena Lashes. It doesn't have a name or a number, you guys. Y'all, I would tell y'all, but as you can see, there's nothing. And I don't even think she has it on her website anymore. I'm not sure. But you can just take any short eyeshadow brush. For eyeliner, I will be taking the Revlon So Fierce Eyeliner. So it's in 861 Mighty Mocha. I'm using this for my eyeliner today. I have been loving... Oh, I know this part is messed up. You guys can see like the top. I'm going to go back in and fix that. So this eyeliner is very creamy. So I just applied a little bit onto the back of my hand. And I'm going to use a brush to apply it. Okay, guys. I hope, yeah, y'all can still see me. I have to have my mirror high up. I do not want to mess up on this. So next I will be taking the Jackie Ina palette and I will be taking the shade Credit. And this is what I'm going to use to smoke out this liner right here. Also I'm using a Laura Mercier flat eyeliner brush. Y'all I really don't know what's been going on with me in creating all these smoky eyeliners. I have not just been feeling the just bold you know precise look I don't know but of course you can skip this step you don't have to smoke it out or you can do a black eyeliner if you want to and smoke it out using black eyeshadow or you can just do a regular black wing So these are the lashes that I applied in my last video. Um, they're from Eye Envy. This is the packaging right here because I bought a bunch of them. And these are in the number 65. But y'all, let me put y'all on real quick. If you buy 65 and 45 and stack them together, <laughs> y'all, I'm telling you, I just did that. And it looks fire like they look so good together stacked up and I just want to tell you that that's only if you are going for a full lash look because it is really full it is really thick but it looks so good I promise you if you guys do end up trying that tell me down below Look how pretty, you guys. We are coming through with the looks, baby. Let me tell you. <laughs> okay, so you guys know that I already moisturized and primed my skin using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Hydrating Oil and the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Power Primer. So on to foundation. I got a new foundation. So this is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Full Coverage Liquid Foundation and it's in the shade Toffee. I really like their packaging because it's nice, sleek, simple, and it does come with a pump. I'm glad a lot of foundations are now coming out with pumps. Like how the Maybelline, like the Fit Me Foundation, like you have to pour it. I don't like that. Okay, so it's a great match. It matches me great. I'm, a, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the rest of my skin because it looks really, really good. And I'm excited and I'm just excited to show you guys like a new product, a new foundation because you guys know like I usually mix my foundations and I was just tired of showing that to y'all. So I'm really happy to 
<laughs> put on a new foundation and I love full coverage. If I'm gonna do my makeup, oh, I'm going all out. Okay, I can say that it does dry pretty quick. So either you wanna start blending it out really fast or you can just blend out one side first and then work on the other side. This isn't like a full dedicated review, but I am loving this foundation. So next, I will be applying the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect Longwear Concealer and I got it in the shade 150 Natural Sand. Now that everything is blended out, I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Cream Contour in the shade Light. And I will be applying this using my Eco Tools Base Buffer Brush. I love these Eco Tools brush, y'all. Okay, you guys, so now that everything is blended out, it's time to set everything. You want to make sure you got your powder ready so you don't crease up and the concealer starts moving around and things like that. So I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Banana Bread Setting Powder here. And when I set my makeup, you guys, I don't take a lot of powder at all. And, of course, I use the same um, makeup sponge that I blended everything out with. To set my cream contour and to bronze a little more, I'm gonna take the NYX Highlighting Contour Palette and I use this shade right here and I apply this with my Eco Tools, which one is this one? Round Powder Brush. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and set my makeup with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray here. Go ahead and finish off my eyes. I'm gonna take the shade Caramel. Next, you guys, I'm going to run the shade Fudge underneath my lash line. So for highlight, you guys, I will be taking the Revlon Skin Lights Highlighter. And I show this in all my videos now because this is my current favorite drugstore highlighter. And I will be applying this with the It's My Ray Ray number no. 5 brush. So y'all already know that I'm lining my lips with my little NK dark brown lip liner. You can get this at the beauty supply store. So for lips, you guys know I've been obsessing over all the Maybelline lipsticks and lip glosses. So this is one of them that I picked up. It's the Maybelline Ultimate Matte Lipstick in the shade More Truffle. And this is what it looks like, baby girl baby girl <laughs> all right you guys so this is the completed look i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial baby because as y'all can see i am coming through with the looks 
serving y'all looks okay please let me know if you pick up any of these products how you feel about them um please let me know how you feel about this tutorial if you liked it girl if you didn't like it what you want me to film next comment 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 i love seeing you guys comment trust me guys, i love when we just interact and you know real please make sure to like comment and subscribe don't forget to turn on that post notification bell down below so you can be notified every single time i post a new video i love you guys so so much and i cannot wait to see y'all in my next video bye